Welcome, Hermitcraft fans and newcomers alike. Today is May 27, 2022. 9.40 p.m. Welcome to Project Her Settlement 7, where I play on the Hermitcraft Season 7 World Download. In the interim between streams, I put down a little to-do board where I can keep track of things I need to do in each in each of the areas around the Hermitcraft world download. We definitely have a lot more, which is a lot more of these books. Though knowing full well that it's going to be part of a... Uh, but one of the things I do want... Things I usually do whenever I make... Whenever I build... Anything is that I just... That unless it's something like a complicated redstone contraption. I usually just wing the building process. I don't exactly build it in a test world. Because I don't, I don't really find that fun. I like to construct within the world itself. I think this is the only thing we have. Is the sand. It's the only way to make sandstone. And the reason we need sandstone, I think there's another way to do it, is because I want to finish, I want to finish the garage that I, that I have built in Cubs Pyramid two years ago. I want to make sure that this thing is done. And as far as I know, I'm not even sure how I'm going to be able to get this without having to cut open a lot of this terrain up. I think the dunes and the mesa next to each other are act actually look pretty cool as they already are. Wow, that kicks ass. That is a beautiful cave. I definitely know for certain that 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 has been generated by the server in uh, 1.6.5. I did update the world to 1.17.1, .1, and that was a big mistake. But I can't roll back. This is what I have now. So what I'm thinking of doing is actually going down here and cutting along... and cutting it down along the coast right there. Yeah, right here is doggone perfect. So let's get to digging. And I figure the later plans of me do doing this are more or less... More or less filling in the places where I've dug with dirt. And have the grass spread over. As if the place is actually getting less arid. Just enough for the grass to spread across. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh. Yep. Sometimes I just had to be foolhardy to an extent. I forgot I put in that resource pack. The Phantom Rain one. I'm actually curious to see what it looks like with shaders. Actually, it's, it's, it's literal Phantom Rain. It's like... transparent. I guess that's why I reverted the shaders, is because of stuff like this. I can't help but notice that it's been raining extremely frequently on the Hermitcraft's... Hermitcraft world. <laughs> so I swear I have... Oh, there is. Yes, yes, yes. Good, good, good. I was about to say, why don't I have any sandstone? I thought I had a big supply of that stuff, but... 
Evidently, I have not found enough of I've not found enough of the chest, mo chest monsters I've looted on the server. I just can't take items out of uh, other her out of the hermit's inventories. I can only I can only take from the ch from the chest monsters they leave behind. And trust me, the hermits are extremely extremely messy builders, and they leave chest monsters all over the place. One of the things I really do need to do is take this down. This is what I this is what I built since the very beginning of this beginning of the Hermitcraft uh, season three world download because I wanted to see see if I could get some practical looking scaffolding for like taking inventory but it's not gonna fit because I have a better idea than that. Well, crap. Hey, I. Yeah, how you doing? Go, go sit down and go, Roy. Garbage blocks. I need some garbage blocks. It looks like it's been a while since I last loaded up this world, and because of this, the map has actually taken quite a long time to re-render. So, to constrain myself to the Hermitcraft as much of the Hermitcraft world as possible, I have constrained the world to 4,200 hundred in all directions, just enough to get into their industrial dress districts and maybe some extra chunks where there would be copper and deep slate. So let us reveal what we have accomplished. First off, the inventory has finally been migrated over here. It's a lot neater looking. It's also double chested instead of single chested. Not only that, all of this disgusting looking scaffolding has finally been removed from the room. It looks nicer. There's still some extremely nasty looking torch spam. Oops. We'll actually go ahead and fix that some other time. Most of the hermits took took equipment with them and didn't even bother f making sure that that respawn kit was topped up. So there we go. A uh, responsibility of mine. I think I did list that. Let me check. There we go. So the only thing left to do is to actually tell you the truth. The command center. Uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll use it. We'll use it. Then again, it's supposed to have a to-do list for the it's supposed to have to-do lists on location instead of just here on the wall, but. But regardless, everything looks pretty, pretty nice and clean, albeit a bit empty. <laughs> like I said, it spawned... It rains far too often here. So, as I was saying, I need garbage blocks. No gray shulkers, huh? Alright. Let's get some, then. A lot of garbage. There we go. Wait. Are they this dark colored? Alright. I guess gray's I guess gray is not good at all. Yeah, 
Yeah, these are grays. Okay. Still getting into the habit of editing. That is the lazy modder way. This, I might have to postpone, actually. A bit off more than I can chew with this. I'll chew at it over time. How about this? The Green Mansion renovation project be my main. It's actually been quite a while, and I, for some reason, have tunnel vision in my brain, so I almost forgot. There we go. Bunch of shovels in here. That's good. Also, off the rails. Let me change that. I got more shovels in here. A lot of these I'm definitely not going to need. Considering I need more shovels. There we go. Lots of shovels. And evidently, when I use my E-chest in the air, I use a rocket. So, that might be a very good strategy for transportation. Okay, there's a little thing in the industrial district. This industrial district. I might have to make a waypoint there. Is that Mumbo's? Let me check. Let me check the coordinates book. It is Mumbo's industrial district. I was right. What's the closest location that I have marked? Ah, so many choices. Oh, no. Yeah, it looks like Corralis' place might be the closest uh, waypoint I have. Hold on. What in the... What the blazes? Look at all these cut-off trees. What the heck is going on? Sudden, randomly cut off trees. There's a weird chunk border where the... Did the trees change? I think they did. I think the trees changed between versions and now there's just... There's just trees here and trees there. The whole... The whole mumbo-jumbo lot. This place is jack for gunpowder. That's cactus, and he didn't label it. Take it from the cobblestone. Thing. There we go. It's an industrial district, all right. <laughs> Goodness. Eight of these platforms do not have cactus. Done.
right here is fine. I can still access that crafting table through those little pixels. Yeah, I think it'd take considerably longer than this. Grabbing it from the floor like this. There we go, we are golden. There we go. Our junk blocks are now topped up. Oh yeah, they're well beyond topped up now. That's enough gravel to last us the rest of the building process. Optimizing should be a piece of cake. As for the kelp... Ah. I don't... I don't need kelp! So I'll push it all the way over to the other wall. How much sandstone do we have? Cake. We have to introduce just a little bit of wear. So that I don't have... So I don't always have a repetitive pattern. You know, here's something I learned about, about, uh, patterning like this. If I do a little bit of gradienting around some of these edges, I can actually... I can actually redirect the focus to specific points. Yes, the creeper. We'll get that fixed. Alright, look at that! That's some steady progress. I absolutely love this effect on on the lower floor wherever the uh wherever the new elevation is where the inventory is going to go and have some other miscellaneous stuff too. Well, this is technically mostly done, but yeah, there's still bad guys all over the place because the steep requirements need to keep this lit up. They should be in the one with the lantern. Bingo.
That should about cover all the gaps. Let me get these rockets and test. The spawn everybody. Okay, the whole the whole gang's pretty much left. All the spawning spaces should be taken care of. And the inventory is finished. So, I think I'm... Now, I do have one more thing that I want to do, and that is to get together. With this, this, these... I'm gonna fix the Hermitcraft uh, respawn kits. And I will definitely be right there. Keeps taking the damn things. Oh, I see. Yeah, but where's the glass? There's another armor stand in there. There's ten armor stands in there? Something's not right with the clock. Nice. Totems. Totems. I'm following the trail of hoppers, as it turns out. That's it. That's it, they go to the epicenter, but... Where... Where'd the brown stained glass go? And the carpet! Where'd that go? Something's not right here. Bingo. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so they did go into the dispensing unit. I'm assuming these buttons reactivate. Oh, they just reactivate those little power lights. To tell them that they're ready again. We'll just get random sets. Ooh, that one has Curse of Binding. Oh, it's called... Oh, I named it Head Crab because... <laughs> I forgot I named it Head Crab. Yeah, I'm gonna need more levels. I guess I ha I'm heading over. 